So it just it would just be a little bit more work. All right. Okay. Graph the solution set of the system. So notice this is a system of inequalities. I'm going to tell you right now the easiest way to graph this when it's in standard form like this is to find the intercepts. So find your two intercepts, which means plug in zero for X and then plug in zero for Y and solve for the other one. So can we do this in our head? If I plug in zero for X, yep. negative so, Y equals one. What does that mean I get for Y? Negative one equals. Very good, so negative one. And then if I plug in zero for Y in this one, if I plug in zero for Y, what does X equal? one very good so there are my two points zero negative one and one zero you see how how easy that was to to do because it was in standard form that was the in my opinion that's the best way to do it because those are the two most important points anyway if yeah. you're gonna if you're gonna have to graph two points you might as well make them be the intercepts mm -hmm. and so you know you just have to connect them you can see that the slope is one now up one over one so and you know that it's a dotted line. So do that. And then it goes down, whoops, down one over one. And then now I have to just shade it in a certain direction. Well, I'm gonna test the point zero, zero. Here's zero, zero, which is above the line, right? Does, is zero minus zero a solution to this inequality? Zero minus zero is less than one. Is that true? Yep. It is true, which means I shade it up. So I'm just gonna shade my red graph up. All right, now let's do the other one in, let's say yellow. Can we see that okay? Or do I, should I use blue? Uh, blue would be better. Let's use blue. So let's do that same thing. Let's plug in, let's, let's find the X intercept and let's find the Y intercept. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use white. I think that'll show up nice. Yeah, there we go. Can you see that better? Yeah. So when I plug in zero for X, plug in zero for X, mm -hmm. solve that in your head. Oh, four. Very good, Y equals four. And when I plug in zero for Y, cross that out and solve that in your head. What's Y or X equal? Six. Very good. So zero, four is your Y intercept. And six, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six is your X intercept. And when I graph that, so the slope is um, negative, two thirds, right? So if I go down four and over six or up four, one, two, three, four and left six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just, it's sometimes good to put an extra dot down there, right? Whoops, whoops, didn't mean to do that, sorry. Making you sick, I'm trying to draw this line as good as possible. And notice this is gonna be a solid line, right? Yeah. Now, which way should I shade that? Let's do that test point again. Is zero, zero a solution for this? Is zero plus zero greater than or equal to 12? No. It is not, so where do I shade it? Down. No. no, down would have been toward that point. Remember I tested zero, zero, which is the oh, origin. Tested, oh, so you have to do it uh, up. Yeah, yeah, so you have to shade it away from where that point was, that's right. So your answer is just where they intersect. So now I go through and I just erase all those, all those parts that were not part of it or all the shading that wasn't part of it. And there's your answer. It's that, it's that region. Now you also might wanna find where those points intersect. It looks like they intersect at three comma two, but let's make sure that works. If I plug in three, two, yeah, that worked there. Three, two, Oh yeah, that worked there too. Yeah, so they, they do intersect at three, two. If you draw it accurately enough, a lot of times you can you get lucky and you don't have to solve them by a system. Otherwise you'd have to solve that by a system of equations, right? Elimination or whatever, because they might ask for that point. They might ask for this point, but we see that that point is three comma two. We can see that. All right, good, 
questions about that? Um, I'm just uh, so, okay. So it's just you just plug in zero zero, right, to get your stuff. Yeah. So what I did is I plugged in zero zero as a test point. Now, if one of the lines went through zero zero, you couldn't use that point as your test point. Mm -hmm. Right. If, if one of the lines went through it, then you have to pick a different point to test. Just pick a point on one side or the other of each of the lines yeah. and test it to see if it works. OK, now, if the equation was written in slope intercept form or if you prefer to write that in slope intercept form, then you can just shade it based upon the way the graph was, for example. If you wanted to take this equation, solve it for slope intercept form, that would be three Y is greater than or equal to negative two X plus 12. And then Y is greater than or equal to negative two thirds X plus four. Do you see how I did that? Yeah. And to graph this one, which is by the way, the same line, it's the same inequality as that one. It's just written in a different form. All you would do is start at your y-intercept, 4, and go down 2 over 3. Down 2 over 3. Down 2 over 3. And then if you were doing it this way, do you see how the sign tells you that y is greater than or equal to? Yes. So if this, is, if this is your line, which one would be greater than, in this case, this way or this way? Uh, first way. First way. Do you understand what I'm saying? So uh, if you're doing it this way, if it's in slope intercept form, then you actually don't need to do, do a test point. Got it? But for some, for some people, it's harder to put this in slope intercept form than just to, you know, find two points and be done with it. I, I can see either way. Either way is fine. So if you wanted to solve this one for Y, I would just add Y to both sides because it's a negative right now. So y plus one, and now subtract one from both sides. Yeah. So x minus one is less than y, and now rewrite it so that y is on the left. y is greater than x minus one. So that's, that's the same thing. You could have started at negative one and gone up one over one to find your next point, and then drawn your dotted line and then you would know it says greater than, so it would be shaded in this case to the left because that's above the line. This is below the line, less than. This is above the line or greater than. Okay, does that make sense?